Hello. Today, I'm here with Paul DeZoritz, who is Particle Measuring Systems Product Line Manager of Aerosol, Gas, and Airborne Molecular Contamination Products. Recently, Particle Measuring Systems published the paper, A Practical Guide to Aerosol Particle Counting Matching. So, Paul, what was the motivation behind writing this paper? Good question. Oftentimes, we have customers that need guidance with regards to what to expect when comparing two particle counters. It's a complicated situation, and we want to provide a document that offers a general direction to set expectations realistically. So, even if you have two particle, particle counters, they may not read the same? Very true. In some cases, there can be a significant difference between one counter and the next. It's not that either one is reading wrong, though. A good way of explaining this is by categorizing particle counters into three groups. So you have group one, which is defined as the same instrument, the same manufacturer. However, even if they're identical models, it's impossible to sample the same exact particles at the same exact time. Furthermore, the calibration standards allow for a tolerance. However, from a particle counter repeatability standpoint, this group gives the most consistent results. Then you have group two. So group two consists of like instruments, but from different manufacturers. And what I mean by like is you have the same first channel sensitivity and the same flow rate and the same number and value of channels. You have to have all of that to be considered what I define as a like instrument. Oftentimes we run across a situation when displacing a competitor's product. We can help to estimate an expected variance, but it takes a deep understanding of the application to do so with any level of confidence. And finally, group three is what we define as unlike instruments. So if any or all of these are the case, then it's defined as an unlike instrument. So that would be different sensitivity, uh, different flow, or different number or value of channels. And these should never be compared. Variances exceeding 100% of indicated ring from instrument to instrument, in fact, are common and can be expected. There are so many variables that it's not even feasible to estimate a matching expectation. Okay, well, what advice can you give a customer who is in a position where they either have different particle counters or are desiring to switch manufacturers? I suggest that you look for a particle counter that meets your performance needs and ensure that the manufacturer that you're working with has a high level of expertise and support and service infrastructure. And once you have established your instrument of choice, place a high priority on populating your facility with like instruments, as we defined earlier, and to maximize the quality of your monitoring data. For more detail, I highly recommend reading our application paper, which can be found on our website, www.pmeasuring.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Paul. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Yeah, you as well. Thank you very much for the time.